Hashem, <clears throat> Chevra. It's great to see you all. Tamara, it's great to see you. Jeremy, it's great to see you. Amazing. So we're just going to open up with a tefillah b'shem kol Yisrael for the people who need a refuah spiritually, mentally, physically. This goes to all of Am Yisrael, b'shem kol Yisrael. But more specifically, Pesach Ruvim ben Yosef Asara, Rocha Bas Yehudis. Miriam Dodi Baschani Rechabed and Yona Bas Basia, they all have a complete refua. Hashem, our God, God of our fathers, God of love and kindness, have pity on me and on my poor soul, which is thirsty, hungry, and yearning to return for you. Help me repent completely for all my sins and transgressions. Those who come to me cleansed and purified our hell from heaven. Let me be one of them. And you yourself assist me in purifying myself of my sins that I'll be able to come to perfect teshuva for all of them. So at the Shem, continuing on to a little halacha, we all know, because this is what Tamar has been thinking about and myself all day. When does, when do we start Musaf after Shafri? The time for Musaf service is immediately after the Shafrit service, and it must not be delayed later than the end of the seventh hour. The person who recites Musaf after seven hours is called a transgressor, but nevertheless, his obligation is fulfilled because the time for reciting Musaf is all day. So now that we got that taken care of, tomorrow and I are relieved along with everyone else. We all want to know that. Now we're speaking about the good life. We've been talking about faith for a couple of weeks now, and we're continuing. And it's three days until the 30th day uh, in our countdown to Hanukkah. And that's when we're going to start our, like, Hakana for, for Hanukkah. I mean, we, we start at 105. We did the countdown. We're at 33 now. We're going to open up the soul of Hanukkah. Bezrat Hashem, it should be amazing. It should be really fun. And it should give us a, a deeper idea in relationship with Hanukkah. So leading up to, you know, the darker days, we need some faith. We need some inner faith. We need to strengthen it. You know, I heard from a rabbi once that Hashem always says yes to one thing, never says no. You say, Hashem, please give me more faith. He'll always say yes, 1,000%. So I heard from a rough. So the good life, Rabbi Nachman says the non-believers have no life even in this world. As soon as things go, simp- uh, go against them, and certainly when trouble strikes, they simply have nowhere to turn. Since they attribute everything to nature, they are left with nothing to fortify them. So there's two, there's two types of people. There's one who is only in this physical world. And there's one who's in this physical world while understanding that the physical world is from Hashem. Hashem is running the world. He's beneath the surface. He's above the surface. He's everywhere. Everything is good according to Hashem's will. Right? So when we're in this 
if we're alone in this world of, uh, of uh, in this physical world, and trouble strikes, according to Rav Nachman, where do we turn to? Do we have this awareness of a, of a source above that's higher than all else? But one who has faith and believes in God has a very good life. Even when trouble strikes, he can still fortify himself with his trust in God because he knows that everything is for the best. Everything is for the best. You know, it's amazing. Rav Nachman talks about Teshuvah. There's a lot of ideas from Rav Nachman on Teshuvah. Um, one of them being, if I remember correctly, oh, now I'm, now I'm uh, thinking about another thing that I said last night. We'll get back to that in a second. But Teshuvah, once you have this thought of Teshuvah, you mamas jump on it. You jump on it and say, I'm doing it right now. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting into, for the next minute, the next five minutes, push it off later. You do it right now, Teshuvah. You have the thought of Teshuvah, return. So one time, you know, uh, a bunch of months ago, during uh, this, past, this past Pesach, I believe. I was playing basketball with a bunch of friends. And I made a comment afterwards. We're all like hanging out, old friends of mine from high school. And I made a comment, kind of embarrassed someone um, from the Chavra. It wasn't a good feeling. And, you know, the, the reaction was not fun. It was just not fun at all. So I went to this kid who I unintentionally embarrassed. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And this kid was like, it's all good, Jack. Don't worry, don't worry. It was killing me, Mamish, every day. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur comes every day for like five, six months. And, you know, I'm just pouring out to Hashem. Like, I just want, I just want the best for this kid. <laughs> Mamish just want everything for this kid. And the other day, he sent me his uh, invitation to his uh, engagement party. So we all know um, Right, in that situation, in a situation, in a situation, a situation like that, you're not like completely, like you are wrong, but it's also okay. You could do teshuva. Hashem is always there. We just need to turn to him. This thing is right next to us. Either the suffering will cleanse him of our sins or eventually bring him some great benefit. For God's intention is certainly for good, Therefore, the man's man of faith always has a good life, both in this world and the next. So, Chavra, Bezrat Hashem, we should just strengthen, Mama strengthen, and continue to beg Hashem for more and more faith, right? In those times where, you know, it may not seem clear, right, that we're about to change the times, Rosh Chodesh next week, and it's just going to get darker and darker and darker out. But we know beneath the darkness, Inside the darkness, there lies the holy, holy light. Mamash an LED light bulb. And the more we have faith, the more we can see that light bulb, the more we can rely on that light bulb when things are all dark. We know it's there. We know it exists. It's so clear to us. So, however, we should live with this. You know, help us in this world and obviously the next. Um, questions, comments, please feel free. Sorry, that was a little scratchy. Also, from last night, we mentioned um, something from Chovat Medium in chapter four. It was really in chapter one. It was perm, just an early perm. Uh, <laughs> not focal, you know? Uh, questions, comments, please feel free. Speechless as usual. Speechless. Bezrat Hashem. I'm sure, I, I hope it's speechless for the Chavra on YouTube, but everyone should just be healthy, happy, and successful tomorrow. You give us strength every single day, just knowing that, you know, you could be doing a million other things. You log on to Zoom, even while guarding us um, and allowing us to do the Zoom. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. You're giving all of us physics and continue to do what you're doing. Health, happiness, and success for everyone else, anyone who's watching on YouTube and really extends to all of Amisrael in the whole world. Guys, have an amazing night. Be well.